Strasburg Franklin and St. Mary Central Catholic tonight on Academic Challenge. Academic Challenge is brought to you by Westfield Insurance. And now, here's the host of Academic Challenge, Jason Nicholas. Hello there, good evening, I'm Jason Nicholas and welcome to Academic Challenge. The challenge is simple. Tonight, these three teams will compete for points by answering questions covering math, science, history, and other topics. First, let's take a look at our team standings because at the end of the season, the top three scoring teams will return for our championship showdown. But these points are very important for another reason. Westfield Insurance will grant $20,000 to the top 10 schools that compete this season on Academic Challenge. Let's get started now. Our opening match, it's the lightning round. In this round, all three teams compete. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We'll subtract 10 for an incorrect answer or no answer. We start each team tonight with 100 points. Here we go. Few people these days have as much adventure in their lives as the gods, goddesses, and other creatures of classical and Norse mythology. Identify the following mythical figures. Here we go. With help from Athena, Perseus killed this snaky-haired Gorgon. St. Mary. Medusa. That is right. Queen Jocasta unknowingly married this man, who was her son. St. Paul. Oedipus. That is correct. Brad Pitt once played this warrior with a vulnerable heel. St. Mary. Achilles. Achilles, yes. This titan was checked to a rock, chained to a rock, because he gave fire to mankind. St. Mary. Prometheus. Prometheus, yes. This mythical monster had the body of a man and the head of a bull. St. Mary. Taurus. Minotaur. For killing the god Baldur, this Norse god of mischief was severely punished. St. Paul. Loki. Loki, yes. He jilted Medea, though she had helped him get the golden fleece. St. Mary. Jason. Jason is right. This sorceress turned men into pigs, according to Homer. And the pig, St. Paul. Circe. Circe is right. Isdubar was the Sumerian version of this Greek strongman. St. Mary. Hercules. Hercules, correct. For our final lightning round question, let's go to Carol Murphy from the Akron Art Museum. The Akron Art Museum is pleased to have in our Vogel collection several Lucio Pazzi watercolors of mythical figures. They include a study of what Greek messenger god the equivalent of the Roman god Mercury. St. Paul. Hermes. Hermes is right, and that does it for our opening round. We've got a tie for the lead here. We'll meet these great teams as Academic Challenge continues. Just like anything can happen in the game you're about to watch, anything can happen in life. That's why there's Westfield Insurance. Our employees and agency partners are here for you when the unexpected happens. Help put the pieces back together and give you peace of mind. In addition to high school quiz shows, we support programs like teen driver safety and community involvement. The bottom line is that we value what you value. So thanks for tuning in. Now let's watch these sharp young minds compete in what's sure to be an exciting match. College's Steve Lydon, assistant professor of biology at the Eastern Campus. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Thanks for watching us tonight. Now it is time for our Mix It Up round. Here are the questions that were 20 points. There's no penalty for an incorrect answer, and if you uh, go six for six, you'll get those 25 bonus points. First, let's take some time, learn about team number one from St. Paul. St. Paul, located in Norwalk in Huron County, offers a progressive, a comprehensive curriculum to its over 200 students. The school offers a learning environment that features cutting edge technology in every class, along with new science labs for chemistry, physics, and biology. In addition, students can participate in 12 varsity sports, plus a band, choir, art, and service clubs. Emily is the captain of St. Paul. Emily is the president of the band. Yes. Tell us more about Emily. I am also the president of student council, and I'm the vice president of the National Honor Society and I plan on studying business management in the near future. Wonderful, over to Annabelle. Annabelle is the president of the German club, Annabelle. Hi, my name's Annabelle. I hope to pursue a career in film and live in a big city like Cleveland. Wonderful, over to Luke. Luke's a member of the National Honor Society. Tell us more about Luke. Um, I'm a senior at St. Paul and um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in college, maybe something with computers. 
and I'm also in a marching band as well. Wonderful. Luke, Emily, Annabelle, St. Paul, questions just for you. Before you break for lunch, find hidden this phrase, the name of what South American country has a long Pacific coastline? Chile. Chile's right. Rearrange these letters. You'll name what great economic calamity that hit this nation in the 1930s. Depression. Yes. Of these words, which one best describes something that is innocuous? Harmless. That is right. What same word referring to a relative? Place in the blanks here to identify a large standing clock and post-Civil War legislation designed to prevent ex-slaves from voting. Grandfather. Grandfather, yes. If you travel by boat from U.S. to Russia, your trip would be shortest if you left from which of these cities in the U.S.? U.S. to Russia on a boat. Nome. Nome is right. 25 bonus points possible here, St. Paul. This statement is from what man who opposed anything that threatened his position as the Soviet Union's World War II dictator? Stalin. 25 bonus points! <laughs> For St. Paul. Nice job. Team two is Strasburg Franklin, located in Tuscarawas County. Strasburg Franklin is the home to over 350 grades 7 to 12 and features a complete range of challenging curriculum, blended learning, AP coursework, and dual credit offerings. Students have the opportunity to take educational paths that allow for college prep and vocational training, plus activities featuring the arts and the athletics. Strasburg has managed to keep individual class sizes small, which offers more opportunities for individualized instruction. Seth is the captain of Strasburg Franklin. Seth is the class president. Tell us more, Seth. I'm a senior at Strasburg. I lead Bible study, and I hope to be a minister after high school. All right, very good. Over to Jason. Jason, you're an Eagle Scout? Yes, uh, um, I plan to attend Ohio State to study chemical engineering after school. All right, very good. A future Buckeye. Over to Mitch. Mitch, you're on the student council. Tell us more about Mitch. That's right. I also am a member of the baseball and golf teams, and I hope to enter the field of journalism writing in the future. Awesome. Jason, Seth, Mitch, Strasburg, Franklin. Gentlemen, questions just for you. Study the phrase here. See if you can find hidden the last name of what German engineer who developed an internal combustion engine bearing his name. You guys know this? Internal combustion engine hidden there. See it? Diesel. You can earn 20 nice points here if you rearrange the letters to name what section of the orchestra that includes the drums. Percussion. Yes. In which of these places would you be most likely to see Stalagmites and stalactites. A cave? Yes, a cave. Fill in the blanks here with what same name to identify a pair of surveyors who established a famous boundary line and the Confederate envoys involved in the Trent Affair? Mason. Mason's right. Which of these three animals is often found at elevations above 14,000 feet and is a source of dairy products for people in Central Asia? Yak. Yak, yes. These were the words of what man who served as chairman of the Chinese Communist Party and head of the Chinese government, 1949 to 1976? Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong. That's right. Well done, Strasburg Franklin. <laughs> Finally tonight, team three, St. Central, St. Mary Central Catholic. The academic experience at Sandusky St. Mary Central Catholic High School is focused on achievement and preparing students for college. Founded in 1902, the Panthers' expressions of faith include the arts, spiritual experiences, 16 varsity sports, 10 academic groups and clubs. Students become leaders and take ownership of their learning process through the school's house system, which is rooted in the Catholic faith and service to others. Blaze is the captain of St. Mary Central Catholic Blaze is the president of Key Club. Blaze, tell us more. Yes, I'm also uh, in robotics and plan on studying mechanical engineering and joining the Navy through NROTC. Wonderful. Over to Matt. Matt, you're the president of the National Honor Society. Tell us more. I'm also a member of the swim team, and I was the captain of the football team. I plan on attending the, one of the United States Service Academies to uh, attain a degree in engineering. Very good. Over to JoJo. JoJo, you're in the musical orchestra. Um, I'm intend to major in marine biology in college. And I want to thank our team advisors and all the families and friends who came here to support us. So would we. Thank you. Matt, Blaze, Jojo, St. Mary Central Catholic. Here we go. Find hidden this peaceful phrase, the mythical being that was half horse, half man. Simpson. 
Centaur. Centaur is right. To start your score simmering, rearrange the letters in this phrase and in what U.S. Military Academy in New York? West Point. Yes, which of these medieval doctors, I should say medical doctors, not medieval, medical doctors, specialize in the treatment of newborns? Neoantonologist. That's right. Big difference there. You can complete both these words by adding what same suffix, which can also indicate a grade on a school paper? Right. No, Mark. Of these three peninsulas, which one is located in the Western Hemisphere? Yucatan. That is right. These words title a biography of what unfortunate English queen who became Henry VIII's second wife and was later beheaded on his orders? Antoinette. Anne Boleyn is the right answer there. Sorry, St. Mary Central Catholic, but still a good round and a very close match. Be back more Q&A, these great teams after this. I'm Gordon Wenner of Jones Wenner Insurance, a Westfield partner, bringing you the sharing knowledge, building trust, question of the week. True or false, damage due to wind is covered under your homeowner's insurance policy. For the answer and a chance to win a Kindle, visit westfieldinsurance.com slash academic challenge. Crowd, East 30th in Euclid tonight. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Before we begin the next round, let's recap. 200 points, third place right now, Strasburg Franklin, St. Mary Central Catholic, 220, second place. St. Paul in the lead tonight, still very early at 285. It is time now for the picture perfect round. Each correct answer here, 10 points, but a wrong or no answer will cost 10 points. All three teams are playing here, so hands on your buzzers. Eyes on the monitor, here we go. This painting depicts the chief of the Mandan Indians who lived in what plain state? whose largest modern city is Fargo. St. Mary. North Dakota. Yes, these stained glass windows are in a St. Chapel, a 13th century church, exemplifying what kind of architecture? Baroque, Gothic, or Rococo? Gothic. Gothic is right. Due to the yellow color of its crest, the South American cockatoo is named for what yellowish non-metallic element? Symbol is S. Hey Mary. Sulfur. Yes. What is the value of X? Hey Mary. Three. Negative two thirds. You can still see the outlines of ancient Roman camp in what Middle Eastern country where Tel Aviv is a modern city? Hey Mary. Israel. Israel is right. This is the formula for what colorless, flammable type of alcohol that can be fatal if drank? St. Paul. Ethanol? Uh, no, methanol. Centuries old, this artwork depicts the caravan of what Venetian traveler who journeyed to China in the 13th century? St. Mary. Marco Polo. Marco Polo is right. It's all about schools in this issue of Cleveland Magazine, but fall also features the changing color of leaves, a reaction caused by the lack of what molecule found in green leaves? St. Strasburg. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is right, and that does it for this picture perfect round. Be back, more Q&A coming up right after this. Team advisors tonight from St. Mary Central Catholic, Catherine Goff and Sophia Jackson, from St. Paul, Jennifer Toby, and from Strasburg, Franklin, Dave Jones. Time to get back into Wayne Hot Picks. One at a time, I'll ask each team a question. The correct response 20 points. No penalty for a wrong answer, so guess away. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive those very important 25 bonus points. First up, team number one, St. Paul Boat. We go to Seth from Strasburg, Franklin, Seth. One, two, three, or four? Three. Envelope number three, four, St. Paul. These questions just for you. No need to buzz in. Let's start. Daguerreotype photography was brought to the U.S. by what inventor who had already given his name to a telegraph code? 
Morris. Morris is right. Several years ago, the Mars Climate Orbiter burned up because NASA engineers forgot they were dealing with what system of measurement involving centimeters? Metric. Metric is right. A Greek phrase for leads a double life provided what name for the class of vertebrates that live both on land and water and includes frogs and toads? Amphibian. Amphibian. That is right. To the model of your science question, which of these halogens is the most active? Fluorine. Fluorine, yes. During World War I, Lawrence of Arabia led local chieftains into battle against what Turkish Empire, which then ruled most of the Middle East? The Ottoman Empire. That is right. Henry Fleming is used, ref, usually referred to as the youth. In what Civil War novel by Stephen Crane? Red Badge of Courage. That is correct. To the model of your math question, evaluate this expression. When x equals 1, x equals 1. Nine. Nine is right. 25 big bonus points here, St. Paul, possible. There are several thousand Secret Service agents today, but there were only three agents guarding what 25th president when he was shot in 1901? Uh, McKinley. 25 bonus points! <laughs> Ohio's own William McKinley, St. Paul, well done. Good job. Team two, Strasburg Franklin. Blaze, St. Mary Central Catholic. What'll it be? Two. Envelope number two for Strasburg Franklin. Gentlemen, these questions just for you. In medieval art, the concept of luxury was symbolized by what sort of fruit tree, the roosting place, for a partridge in a Christmas song? Pear. Pear, you got it. Age cannot with wither her is Shakespeare's tribute to what Egyptian queen? who is the last of the Ptolemy dynasty. Cleopatra. You got it. During our Civil War, the king of Siam offered to help Abraham Lincoln by sending him transports in the form of what large pachyderm animals? Camels. Elephants. To the monitor, which of these three terms refers to the breaking apart of a molecule by the addition of water? Hydrolysis. Correct. Though the early Antarctic explorers were all men, that continent does boast an era name for what 19th century British queen an area boast? Victoria. Victoria is right. Family therapists would have an uphill battle trying to bring harmony to what brothers who title a novel by Dostoevsky? Do I have a guess here? Anna Karenina. No, the brothers Karamazov. To the monitor math question, if AB is a straight line, X will equal how many degrees? Ten. Ten is right. The city of Quebec was founded by what French explorer whose name is given to a lake on the Vermont New York border? Hudson. No, Samuel D. Champlain. Well done, Strasbourg Franklin. That was a. Tough draw there out of envelope number two. Finally tonight, rounding it out, St. Mary Central Catholic. We go back over to Emily from St. Paul. Emily, one and four. Four. Envelope number four for St. Mary Central Catholic. Here we go. Several early colonial flags displayed the phrase, don't tread on me, along with a picture of what slithery reptile? Snake. Snake, Snake is right. Pollen producing flowers cause suffering for many people, but garlic would torment what Transylvanian vampire created by Bram Stoker? Dracula. Dracula is right. The 1863 Battle of Lookout Mountain had another name, suggesting that it was fought above what cirrus or cumulus formations? Cloud. Cloud, correct. To the model of your science question, which of these is the formal name for the windpipe? Trachea. That is right. The Senate would expand to 102 senators if statehood were given to what Caribbean island that is now a U.S. commonwealth? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is right. The game of Mahjong plays a central role in what Amy Tan novel set in a Chinese immigrant community? Joy Luck Club. Joy Luck Club, right. To the monitor your math question, solve for X. X equals? 12. 36. What man who moved from the anti-Masonic party to the Whigs to the know-nothings had also moved into the White House as their 13th president? 
Tyler. Millard Fillmore. That does it for that round. We've got a relatively close match. The grab bag round is up after this. You want to stay tuned for that. For complete information about everything academic, visit us online at newsnet5.com slash academic challenge. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Before we continue, recap the score so far tonight. In third place, 310, Strasburg Franklin. Second place, 380 points, St. Mary Central Catholic. In the lead tonight, heading into the grab bag round, 460 St. Paul. It is now time for the grab bag round. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but the team will lose 20 points for a wrong or no answer. Also, some visual questions here, plus or minus 30. So all te three teams are playing. Hands on your buzzers. Our grab bag round begins right now. It's never too early to prepare for National Peanut Month. What same month in which we also celebrate St. Patrick's Day? St. Paul. March. March is right. In 1964, President Lyndon Johnson signed the Southeast Asia Revolu Resolution, a document also named for what golf off the coast of Vietnam, St. Mary? The Gulf of Tonkin. Right. Global warming results partly when carbon dioxide and other gases trap solar radiation, creating what effect? Suggesting St. Mary. Greenhouse effect. That is right. To the monitor, the bird on this flag symbolizes an ancient African city that gave its name to what country whose capital is Harare? Zimbabwe. Although it sounds like a hideout for criminals, Crookside is actually a mineral source of what element whose symbol is TL? Anybody have a guess? Yes, St. Mary. Value. That is right. A book called The Year of the Great Crash chronicles what specific year in which the stock market crashed during the Great Depression, St. Mary? 1929. That is right. Scientists have recently announced that there is an increased chance of a major volcanic eruption at what oldest of our national parks? St. Paul. Yellowstone. That is right, to the monitor. Even without a recipe, you can rearrange the letters in this word to name what 14th U.S. president? St. Paul. Pierce. Yes. In which two quadrants is the cosine positive? St. Mary. First and fourth. First and fourth, yes. The first dinosaur skeleton found in America was unearthed in 1858. In what mid-Atlantic state where students can bone up on paleontology at Princeton? St. Mary. New Jersey. Yes. William Cullen Bryant's poem, Thanatopsis, deals with what phenomenon associated with the fourth horseman of the apocalypse? Yes, St. Paul. Death. Death, yes. To the monitor addressed to Mr. and Mrs. America. This sample war bond was issued in what same year that also saw the Allied invasion of Normandy in World War II? Stuffer Franklin. What is it? 1942. 1944 is the right answer there. The buzzer means the game is over. Let's take a look at our final standings tonight. In third place, 280 points, Strasburg Franklin. In second place, 500 points, St. Mary Central Catholic. And our winner tonight, getting into our top 10, 550, St. Paul. Way to go, congrats. Hey, join us now in two weeks. We'll feature teams from Independence, Trinity, and Wayne Day. I'm Jason Nicholas. Again, we'll see you in two weeks, another edition of Academic Challenge. Good night, everybody. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by Westfield Insurance.